ultimately is going to be Einstein's special relativity, which was something of his first groundbreaking work done in 1905. And he actually had a big flurry of papers out there around that. Uh, and, and the reason why we like Einstein is because they're all really good. And even 100 years later, with these wild advances in technology and <coughs> research and everything, it's still holding up to a tremendous degree of scrutiny. Uh, so these theories are just phenomenally good ones. Um, but before we get into the actual uh, meat of the theory, uh, I kind of like to, to set the paradigm for what I'm talking about with relativity. Make sure they're on the same page. So, just kind of throwing it out there, what are some connotations people have with the term relativity? They can be from a broader sense or a more angle than physics sense. Okay, too. I was talking about one pair of the soup is a lot of one pair of the hand. considering really depends on the context. Uh, if I'm looking at a bowl of soup, I, I really don't expect there to be a lot of hair. But if I'm looking at a head, my opinion, my expectations differ. And so that's, that's just the relative context for the soup. Five minutes talking to a pretty girl doesn't feel like five minutes at the dentist. Is that your original? No, that's the dentist. Where the pretty girl is the girl dentist the last girl. Scale, uh, choice, 
but also the entity that you're measuring. I mean, if we think we're measuring the same thing, but maybe we actually misidentified one. Um, so just that the scale in which you use to examine something will affect how it's presented. Right. Yeah. But also, I mean, if you're measuring velocity or a distance, it may be straightforward. But if you're measuring something else, um, I don't know how to do it. space incident that people, you know, let's not bother about inches and miles to the metric system, which everyone else in the whole universe uses, and, and suddenly stuff goes terribly wrong. We're, we're usually pretty good about that stuff. You know, don't, don't look at that one thing. Um, at any rate, this is all a bunch of good examples here. Um, but definitely, as I kind of was leading through visually, this is more to the heart of what I'm going to be talking about today, of what relativity is trying to get at. The idea of perception. And measurements of time and space, and how different people can measure the time and space, and uh, <coughs> well, let's just kind of get into it, and, and, and how our individual perceptions of measurements are going to be picture of what's actually going on. So, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to try and really utilize these four blackboards. It would be great if they could like, go off and all that, you know, high the and all this nice work, and then see what I can do. So ultimately, top, my topic of today is going to be special relativity. And I'm going to try and approach it initially from three axioms, which ends up, I'll be able to show, kind of devolves down to just a single axiom. That single one being the speed of light is constant. all observers. And actually I'm going to say constant slash the same for all observers. Now what I mean by that, what I mean by that is that not looking at the speed of light initially, but something that's a more tangible concept. If I if I had a train Going down a track. It's a nice straight track, everything's flat about it. Windows and people sitting in it. And then I'm sitting on the side here with my trusty revolver. I'm, I'm not shooting the train. This is this is a this is a non-violent example. <laughs> but I'm firing my bullet at you. My bullet just And so let's say that the train is chugging away at 50 miles an hour, but my bullet is going to the train. It's going at 100 miles an hour. <clears throat> so the initial question is, I just told you the bullet's going at 100 miles an hour. What I meant was it's doing that relative to me who fired it. So that's how fast I think it's going, and I think the train's going at 50 miles an hour. That's, that's just kind of what I said. But the question is, what does this guy on the train, how fast does he think the bullet is moving? Mm. 50. Does anyone think anything else? Yeah, that's, uh, that's absolutely the uh, right way of thinking about it. An interesting, um, and, and, and so, so the full brunt of what we mean with relativity and why this is a powerful term uh, to think about, and this is even back in Galilean days, like hundreds of years ago, uh, is that physics, uh, is velocity independent. What I mean is that the laws of physics don't change if I'm moving with some different velocity. So as an example, if I had a billion